Imagine holding a gem so rare and valuable, it rivals the price of red diamonds. Welcome to the world of rubies and sapphires. Rubies, especially those over three carats, are among the most expensive gems. The ideal ruby glows like a red traffic signal, a highly fluorescent red of high intensity. Interestingly, small amounts of silk in a ruby can enhance its color by scattering light into areas it would not otherwise reach, covering up any extinction. However, not all rubies are created equal. Thai and Cambodian rubies often suffer from too much iron, which cuts fluorescence, and lack the silk needed to scatter light. When it comes to blue sapphires, the top prices are paid for stones with an intense blue verging on violet. Large sapphires are more common than large rubies. Color zoning can be a problem in sapphires. Look for stones without major zoning issues. Many blue sapphires from basalt sources like Thailand and Australia are too dark and generally inexpensive. On the flip side, sapphires that are too light in color are also inexpensive. The best stones are well cut, eye clean, and have intense blue colors. Orange sapphires should be rich in color without blackish areas. In star stones, transparency is crucial. Too much silk can lower color intensity by reducing the length of light paths through the stone. The ideal star stone contains just enough silk to show a star, but not enough to reduce the color's intensity. A stone can be expensive if its color is good, even if the star is poor. So, whether you're captivated by the fiery red of a ruby or the deep blue of a sapphire, remember, the true value lies in the perfect balance of color, clarity, and cut. Stay gem-savvy.